Hello everyone and welcome back to Revit Snippets. Great tips you can learn in just a few minutes. This video is brought to you by RV Deep Clean. Over 40 ways to clean and downsize your Revit model all in one place. Get a free copy today by using the link in this video description. Have you ever wanted to super quickly delete all the empty tags in your model? For example, I have here a few door tags, but some of them are just empty. For instance, this one here. When I click on it, all I have is a question mark and the same for this tag, same for this one and that one and so on. If I try to find and remove them manually, it will take a lot of time. So here we have Dynamo coming to the rescue. I will show you today how to build this script that when you open it and click run, it will instantly remove all the empty tags just like that. And you can see now, that 69 of the tags have been cleaned up for us in less than a second. Follow me step by step now, and I'll show you exactly how to build this trip yourself. By the way, if you are new to this channel, make sure to subscribe now, because we do tutorials like this every single week. Okay, let's begin. So let's see now how we can quickly delete all the empty tags while keeping the good ones using Dynamo. Let me go back to Dynamo here from the Manage tab. And let's open this test script. Now it's a usual thing I normally do in my tutorials. Let's make now a way for Dynamo to read a text file that contains a Python script. We can then use a text from that file as a script input for this node here. And then it will just run the Python script that we have in the text file. Okay, with that out of the way, let's start putting some logic into this test.py file here. I can now open my text editor from there. And now the next step, we will go into Visual Studio Code, my favorite Python script editor for Dynamo. If you are new to this kind of workflow, don't worry. Just go down to this video description and use a link there to see my basic video tutorial on how to script things in Dynamo this way. It will also show you how to set up and use Visual Studio Code because this is really the best editor you can have for writing Python script to use later in Dynamo. The video will also show you step by step how to create and understand and use this Python script template that I have opened already. So that should give you all the information you need to then come back to this video and follow me from here. Okay, let's start scripting something in here. Firstly, to select the tags that are empty, we need to select all of them, even the good ones, and then filter out the empty ones in the next step. So firstly, let's call a new variable, call it tags. And now we can collect all the tags from the model using a filtered element collector. Let's do it on this document here, the active model in the background. And then we also do off class independent tag. That's the element class for all the tags in Revit, even material tags, door tags, and so on. I can then start the for loop down below. So for tag. In tags, I can do just a simple addition of the tag object to the watch empty list up here, just so I can see the tags in the output in Dynamo. So we can say watch.append and then tag. Let's save it now. Back to here, we can run this. Okay, let's see what's coming back. When I go to the watch section here, I can see we have successfully collected over a hundred tags from this model. Next step, we can start to see the value in each tag here. For example, for this one, we want to get the string that is one, two, three, because then for the empty tags, of course, we will see that it has nothing. And that's how we can later on identify them for removal. So back to here, instead of appending just a tag itself to the watch list, I can say dot tag tags here and save it. We try it here. Now clearly we have all the tax values coming back from the tax, including some very funky ones like this one here. Probably this is a coordinates tag. That's why you have here all the crazy numbers and degrees there that don't make much sense to me anyway. But if I go down, I see things like one, two, three or one, one, eight. These seems to be door tag values, just like this one here, one, two, three. That means the ones that are empty, like number 14 to number 18 there, they seem to be the empty tags. So let's filter them out. Let's go back to Python here and say value equals to tag dot tag text. Copy this one to there now. 
And now we have a condition here we can use. So if the length of the value string there is equals to zero, then we append the tag itself to the watch list. Just like this. I can try this again here now. And yes, we have now tags coming back. But instead of over 100 tags, as you saw before, now we just have 69. So let's see a few of them. If I just quickly move this window to the left there, and maybe make it a bit more spacious on my view there, just to see the things I'm going to see. I can now click on the green buttons to go to where the tags are. For example, this first one. It's empty, that's good. Next one, also empty. And if I keep going down like this, I can also check out the tags in the other views. Here we go, that's another one. So you can see a benefit of doing this in Dynamo is we can do this one time in all of the view and clean up all the empty tags in those views instead of doing it view by view, which would take a bit longer. But if I keep going down, I can see other tags in other views that are also empty. So here we go. Looks like we have got the right elements for deletion. Let's now go ahead to remove it back to Python now. I can open a new transaction now to start the modification to the model. Call it TR as an object. I can then initiate it using transaction in this document of the name of delete empty tags like this. And then never forget, I have to do tr.store to begin the modification and tr.commit. If you have been watching my channels for a while, you will see this very familiar step. Anyway, next thing to do is to delete the tags. To do that, we need to put them into an ID collection that we can then later on just delete in one go. So let's call a new variable here, IDs to delete. And this will be list element ID. Make it new like this. So starting out this variable, we just hold an empty element ID list. When I go down here to the same for loop as before, in addition to appending the empty tag to the watch list, I can also do on the upper line IDs to delete dot add and then append to IDs to delete the tag ID. So tag dot ID there. Very good. I can then go down to here. Inside the transaction, I can do doc.delete and then pass in the ID collection, just like this. We can now save this back to here and run the script. Okay, so it looks like all the empty tags have vanished. If I go up here to the same area as before, I can see now that the non-empty tags, they are still here, like this one or this one here. But all the empty ones, they have been cleaned up for me instantly by Dynamo. There's a small problem here though. In the watch list in Dynamo, I have no value. And that's because of this error here. It says the reference object is no longer valid. The reason is this. If I go back to here now, I can see the watch list is supposed to show the tags that I deleted. But because we have deleted them in this step, when Python gets down to here, all the tag elements in the watch list are no longer there. They have become invalid objects. And that's why in Dynamo we have now this super cryptic error. But essentially that's all it's saying. To prevent this, I can append something else here to tag. So instead of tag, I can append tag.id as well. Now we can save this, undo the change in private. Now the empty tags are back. I can now run the script one more time now. And this time there's no error. I have here in the watch node, a nice clean list of element IDs. These are the IDs of the tags that are empty and were deleted. I can then see clearly I have removed 69 of them from the model in a very easy and quick way. Anyway, that's a question I get asked a lot here. What if I only want to remove empty door tags? As you saw before, we saw even coordinates tag, windows tags, and material tags in the same list. Let's limit this script a bit so it will only touch the door tags and leave the rest intact. Let's undo the change again. It all has to do with the way we collect elements. So let's go back to Python and change that. Here you can see we are collecting all the tags in the model using the class of independent tag. If I now go here and duplicate this line, then comment this one out so we don't run it this time. 
I can now call this variable still text, but instead of off class, we can say off category. And now let's say built in category dot door tags. Here we go. Now we have OSD door tags that we can select. Let's now save the script and run this again in here. Something's wrong there. Let's see. Okay, so something is not a proper tag. That's why it couldn't get a tag text family from that object. That's fine. Let's see what that's about. So here, before I try to get a tag text, let's see what the elements we get back from this filter collection step. So let's do watch.append tag there. And then I can simply comment the rest out. Let's now see what's in watch. Back to here, run this now. So we have here a few elements. Some of them are proper tags. We want these, that's good. But if you notice on the first line there, we have a family type. And this is not a tag instance, it's a tag type that have been used by Revit to generate the proper tags instances in the model. We don't want this. We don't want to check the text of the tag type because that's always empty anyway. We need to have then a way to filter out the type from the instances. Let's now go to here and say where element is not element type. I can then say that. Click to here and check. And yes, now it looks much better. We have no family type in here anymore. Only 100 tag instances. So now I can safely go back to here, remove this checking line, and then comment back the scripts that I want to run. Save it. Run this again here. And yes, now we have 69 objects deleted. And this time we can be sure we didn't touch anything to do with window or material tags or wall tags. Only empty door tags were removed for us by Dynamo. Anyway, if your idea of doing this step here is to help cleaning up and lighten up your model, then just removing empty tags alone may not be enough. In the case, I recommend checking out some of the Revit plugins that does model cleanup in a more complete way. For example, RV Deep Clean is a good one. As you can see here, we have here several ways to clean up the model in three different areas. Under general, I have things like deleting unused scope boxes, unused rooms, area spaces, even their boundary lines if they are unused. I can also pin grid lines and levels if I don't want them to move or push empty parameters. If I go to the next tab here for views operations, I can do things like deleting often tags, often dimensions, even unused lifestyles like patterns and field patterns. Even more, I can do things like deleting unused view templates, view filters, views not on sheets or sheets without any views on them. If I go to links, I can also clean up and standardize the way I use Revit and cut links in the model. For example, pinning links, moving them to proper work sets, or removing those links that are hidden. So let's give it a go now. Let's click on clean model here. Here we go. So the plugin has successfully cleaned up a bunch of items from my model. It gave this little nice report here to show me that I have successfully purged some unused area boundaries, room separations, unused view patterns, line patterns, views on sheets, and so on. Even some hidden elements that are no longer visible in the view, I can see that I have been cleaned up for me too. So if you'd like to try RV Deep Clean completely for free, just use a link in this video description to get your free copy today. Otherwise, if you just want to clean up very quickly all the empty tags in the model, then this script here will be all you need. If you want to use it straight away without rebuilding it, also go down to the video description and use a different link there to download this script directly. If you, however, want to focus on mastering Python scripting in Dynamo, then check out my full Python course in the video description. If you like this lesson and want more like this every single week, make sure to subscribe to this channel now. For now, have a good day and I'll see you in the next tutorial.